Hey, how you doing? Sean Bardo, Sea Gear Marine Supply, Cape May, New Jersey. I'm gonna show you today a thimbleized place with three strand nylon. So here at Sea Gear, we don't use rope thimbles. Rope thimbles are cheap, they're flimsy. We use cable thimbles. So today we're doing a three quarter rope. We're gonna use a five eighths thimble. Cable thimbles are heavier duty, they're beef your wall, beef your everything. You'll never damage this thing. I mean, if you do, the rope's gone either way. So to do a thimble splice, you judge your tail. Again, there's rules of thumb for this. I've been doing it long enough, I eye it up. So again, going to do about eight inches of tail. So that's gonna be the end of my thimble. So to get it in the thimble, you wanna push it in there nice and tight. You don't want any slack. So push it in nice and tight. You wanna lean against something. If it's really tight, get it in there. So there, we got our, our tail, we got our thimble. So time to tape. To keep it nice and tight in there, I use some tape. Pre-cut a couple pieces. So I put it right around the, the thimble eye there and tap and put it back. One more piece, same procedure. So now we got our, our tail, our thimble's taped in place. The rope's nice and snug. That way, when you do the splice, it's not loose and it doesn't fall out. So again, there's our tail. We cut the tape right between the strands so the rope stays on the tape. It keeps everything nice and snug. Now, pull it off the tape. Sometimes it fusses with you a little bit. We tape our strands. Again, keep everything nice and tight. Keep the lay looking the same. Don't make it sloppy. Nobody wants a ugly finished product, especially if you're gonna take the skill and time to do something like this. So one, we go two. And number three. See that one opened up a little bit. We're just gonna twist her back as good as we can to keep her nice and tight. I also tape pretty close to the ends. You don't want it fluffed out too much because it can, hurt you while passing through especially on tougher or harder lay ropes they do judge rope by its lay so this is what we're going to call a medium medium soft you can undo the strand somewhat and it goes back soft lay you undo it and it just stays there hard lay you can barely barely get it undone there's different applications for different ropes um mostly what we do is a medium lay it's in the middle not too hard not, not too hard not too soft um rope does eventually stiffen up it's going to get wet it's going to get sand in it especially as an anchor line and it's going to end up being stiff like some ropes i've seen them you can almost hang them out on end so we're back to our splice three strands uncoil them and we're going to aim for top dead center so top dead center the way everything's coming off we're going to go for this one right here so that's my top dead center left to the left right peel that to the right a little bit so top dead center goes to the most closest strand you can go to which i'm going to pick that one because this one up here is off to the side so we're gonna go there, I put my finger in there, pop the strand out a little bit, and pass her on through. Center tuck, done. So now we move to the left, because again, we're going against the grain of the rope or the lay of the rope. The rope twists to the right, we're going to the left. So this strand's already tucked, uh, spoken for, so we're gonna go to this one. Gonna open it up, pass her on through. And last but not least, the hardest of all the tucks on three strand, the one that has to go back and forth. So. We have one strand left in our set of three at this level. So this one, remember, it has to go that way. So we come back and to the left, back and to the left. So there we go, our first set of tucks. And again, over under. So this is the easiest part of all the splicing after you got everything tight and ready to go is your over unders. So this strand's laying here. We're gonna go over the strand dead ahead of it and under the next one, over and under. And every set of every set of tucks, all three all three ropes at, at one time. That's our left, and we come back to this one, over under. You're going down the rope, so it's easy to see which one you're going to go over. If you were to take one of these and keep going without tucking the the ones the partners of it, you might lose the strand that you're going to go over. So say I went, I kept tucking this one down. By the time I go to do this one, I might lose this strand that I'm going to have to find to do my tuck with that strand. So it's a, just a good rule of thumb. Do one set of strands at a time. All three tucks on your strands before you go any further. So over under, this is tuck number three. They call them the one, two, three, four, because that's the amount of times you've gone. And again, you can count. If you ever lose place, you start where your first tuck is. One, two, three. So we're on three tucks with that strand. Now follow through with the plan. 
tuck this one over then under and one more time gives us four tucks close to equal rope strength and definitely trust it on anything you're going to hook it up to so that's one two three four uh if it looks a little lumpy you can take it in your hands give it a roll and it'll clean it up after that take your tape off we stuck that one on there there we go there you have it thimble eye splice three quarter nylon anybody could do this just a matter of patience and doing it more than once because it's one of those things uh practice makes perfect but thanks again sea gear marine supply three span eye splice have a good day